CP, the tool addict, garage. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back here. This is your first time coming to my channel. I want you to pay homage to the mullet. Uh, I'm going to shake it out for you. Let me torque it for you. Uh, we're going to do a good, we got a good video for you today. We're going to do some Mac top 10, 5, whatever. I don't know. We're, we've been working on the shop here and we're, had a viewer request by Mr. Miguel Martinez who wanted to know what I would recommend getting off the Mack truck. So I thought I better make a video and do my top 10 or top 5. I'm going to give you my top 5 and then top 10. How's that sound? I'm going to give you my top 5 must-haves and then the top 10 that I like the most. Exclusive to Mac Tools. Tell you why, whatnot. But uh, without further ado, once again, let's kick it in. All right, so these are in no specific order, and I'm going to count this as one because this is a drilling apparatus deal here. But we're going to say we're going to talk about the carbide bit burrs because they're lifetime warranted, and they have literally paid for themselves. I have had these whole, this whole set warranted four times, and if I would have had to buy a cheap set, which would have cost me. 20 or 30 bucks, I would have already been over money. I don't care what any salesman tells you out there. Yes, I know. You're going to hear JD Tico, you know, blow it up about, you know, we got to, you got, you're going to buy this set. No, guys, I don't care. I If you use your bits a lot, if you're not using them a lot and you're going to have it over a period of time, yes, you can budget and save it. But guys like me, I can tell you. I can promise you. Let's just open the set and let me just explain to you how many times I've warrantied out this set right here. You can see the metal on these bits right here. I use them almost every freaking day. These are not these are not your these are not toolbox queens. Fellas, these are getting used every single day. There's crap in here and these gets these bits get wore out and they break and Mac warranties them all over from bottom to top and I don't care if you say it's a seven dollar bit whatnot the bottom line is for 300 bucks 400 bucks this kit if you use drill bits every day like if you're up in the north in where guys like us just get rusty garbage and you got to deal with this crap you know that's what it is the other thing I like is these extra short stubbies these are not mechanics length they're machinist length Whatever, these are called stubby drill bits. And these are definitely, look at these things. They're tiny. They're just little fellers. I mean, that's like less than three inches long. Ask me how I know. Um, you know, it's just literally, it's a tiny bit. And the little fellers over here, holy smokes. I mean, if you got to get into a tight space with the right angle, guys, these are your guys. This kit was on sale too last month, so I paid full price. I think I get 150 bucks. But Mac drill bits, because of the warranty, they actually work good too. The carbides, absolutely. My number one thing that I would say you must have because these, if you use drill bits like I do, which this is important, I have seven sets of drill bits, and that's the reason why. Because even with the warranty, I still break big break drill bits, and I don't want to be left out in the dark without my drill bits. So. Let's move on to number two. Number two is going to be the precision torque wrenches. Must have Mac tools, in my opinion. If you don't, you catch these things on sales, sales, and they've been phenomenal. You can see I've been I've been using mine now for quite some time. Well, I think I bought them a year ago. I have had wrenches. I've had knuckle savers over the years, and I actually like these a whole lot better. The beam on them is just nicer. They seem to hold up really well. Once again not safe not not toolbox queens here fellas we use our tools despite the consensus anyways nonetheless precision torque that's my number dos for you miguel dos now we're going to go on to tray must have number three must have would be the mac cordless tools i have been super happy with them and i know you fellas are going to say they're the same as dewalt well, let me, in on, let me let you in on a little secret. When Torque Test Channel comes out with a video, when you're going to see the Mac Impact, you might change your mind about that because I'm going to tell you they're not quite the same. First of all, these were designed for mechanics. 
The battery is not like in Milwaukee where it gets floppy. I've had this for over a year. Yes, this is not a, this is not a toolbox queen. I've had this for over a year. This is my go-to. I'm going to use this more than a cordless ratchet, to be honest with you. She gets the job done. I got an interior and exterior gun. This is the exterior, gem, So she's beat up. And then I use the other, uh, other guy for the interior. But this thing gets the job done. It's got plenty of beans. Plenty of beans. I don't know if Tortes has actually done a video on this one. They've done the DeWalt. I should have sent that one in with them, but I didn't. But I sent my other Mac Impact in, and we'll just tell you, you're going to want to watch that video when it comes out, and I think it's going to be pretty soon. So that's my number tray for Miguel. I definitely would have this wait for the combos to come up. These things hold up. I've had them doused in grease, dirt. The whole nine yards. Uh, this thing literally lives with a quarter-inch hex impact. In fact, I don't even know why anybody would want a quarter-inch impact. I don't rarely need the, the distance on them uh, for getting into it. I mean, but I just, you know, I've been, I, I use this thing. I love it. It's, it's, it's my favorite. And uh, so, yeah, it's a great deal. Number four. This is a toss-up on what, I, but I, I'm trying to think of tools that are must need okay and this tool right here is the harmonic damp dampener puller for chryslers and whatnot and this thing right here it's a uh loh bp1 i believe is the part number i'm gonna try to link descriptions but i'll tell you whenever i look up this one it makes my brain hurt but i think it's an loh bp1 i should know it by heart by now as many times as people have asked me but this is only exclusive to mac tools you see the short arms it's got a ratcheting deal on it, and they come in. You can get in and take the pulley off. I don't think there's any other tools out there that can do it but these. It's a three-jaw or two-jaw puller, whichever you want. It's like 160 bucks. These things go on sale, but these things are the bee's knees, fellas. That's super short. You can look at it in my hand. It'll get into those Chrysler dampeners and pull them off, the pulleys, the harmonic balancer pulleys, whatever, on the, on the Chryslers and get them done. All right. Now, I know you guys were probably waiting for it, and you're like, oh, CP's not going to say it. Yes, my number five is the RBRTs. Why I put a harmonic dampener puller and the rest of the stuff above these is because they have not saved my bacon but only two times since I've owned these. So uh, I, I found that more of the right fitting and whatnot. But, yes, there is times where these come in handy, and they are nice because they fit. But here's the thing is, this is a answer... For a tool that this is an answer for a problem that was well, the only reason it's a problem is because people use the wrong tools. Okay, that's the problem with RBRT. A T. This is an Allen. So if you use a six millimeter Allen on something, strip it out. Yes, I understand. Now these are Allens, but on the Torx, there's three different types of Torx, fellas. Three different types, and that's the common problem I find with Torx is is people use a star, a Torx. Uh, what do you call it? The star driver. That's what they call the alternative to a Torx. A star driver. And that's just not... <laughs> that means that it's not a Torx. A Torx fastener is patented. Okay, and that's the problem with it. And so, this was an answer to a problem that was created from a fastener. So, it's tools being sold to replace a tool that's not being used. So, it's kind of an alternative deal. So, I think that's subjective... I do love these, and they do work great, especially the Allens in some crusty, rusty situations. And I'm not dogging on these. Now, the, the, impact, or the extractors, they're garbage. Honestly, I can, in fact, let me just go to them. I think these things are hogwash. Uh, look at these giant behemoths. The sizing is kind of awkward. Every time I try to use them, there's... Uh, yeah, the... Uh, in the, it just doesn't work. They just don't work, nonetheless. Anywho, long story short is the RBRT bits, nice. Extractors, not so nice. That's a long story short on that. Uh, then we're going to go on to the top fives, or honorable mentions as I like to call it. Let's just, let's just dive right into this, this aspect of it. Here is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now there's a couple, of, there's an, I'm going to do an honorable mention. So these are my top five and my top ten. This one right here, this guy right here is a nice little addition. I always love this. This is an AG200 grinder. Uh, this thing is obviously well used. Love this little guy. Comes in super handy. Definitely a tool 
that I would look at getting. I love the opening jaw if for these these one-handed designs, guys. These are still good vice grips or locking pliers, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. Uh, but these these one-handed openers, I've grown to come very handy about because they just make life easier for opening and closing. Really do like those. They are not exclusive to Mac, but they uh, are Irwin branded, which Stanley owns Irwin. Still love the flex head or the flathead ratchet. I use the Matco one now, um, and I use it all the time because it's just cordless and handier. But I wouldn't wouldn't turn down getting a flathead from Mac on that. Love these pinch off ply hose pinch off pliers for some quick uh, heater hose and vacuum stuff. Those are kind of nice. Mac. So this is the honorable mention right here. So this is number ten. Oh, sorry, I should put the part number on these. Is a BHC ninety six four twenty. And this is a AR778, or 249, excuse me, AR250. There's an AR250, AR249. They've got some different part numbers now. Not even sure they make those. Those are so old. But the MAC extensions. Why do I like the MAC extensions? Because of the knurling, the double-belted knurling. Uh, and these are non-wobble extensions. But not only that, here's a new one for you, kids. MAC is the only one that makes a one-inch extension, believe it or not. All the others, kind of, are they don't fit the build. Um, you can actually get a short extension from Mac. Uh, actually, I think they even have their wobble extension. If you get their wobble extension, I think it's almost uh, rated about three quarters of an inch. So for different heights and whatnot. In fact, I think I got that guy. Let's see if we can open this up. Yeah, so I've had these for a while, but they have a one inch extension. And here's the little guy. This might shock you. An X1EW. Yeah, that little fella right there is just, she's a stubby little fella. And you can see this is the one inch. Um, now, Snap-ons is a one inch too on the Wobble Plus. But it's a little bit longer when you get it up here. See how this comes in? You have to put it into the Plus section. But their normal extension is just over an inch and a half. I know that sounds weird, but you'll have to take my word for it because their extensions are a little bit funkier. But... I've had this these Mac ones forever and they've worked good. Now you notice they do not have the wobble ones don't have that, so don't make the mistake and get the wobble ones and expect to get the knurling. But your straight chrome extensions. I also love these. I wish they would have put knurling on the locking extensions. I've had these forever. Um, I've I've been using Mac extensions for some time. So um, and then we're gonna go into the last one. All right, so this is going to wrap it up. This is my final, and this is my, uh, just a little guy's a little dirty. My final, final, which number 11 honorable mention is going to be Mac sockets. Why do I like Mac sockets? Because they seem to hold up better than any other sockets that I've just noticed. Uh, going on 20 plus years of using wheel lug sockets that don't break. They're built by Proto. They've definitely, these are new now, I will say. These ones are new, so that's why they look shiny. Um... All these are older ones. And the other thing is a Mac intermediate socket on the chromes, which I really do enjoy the chromes, i, I got to tell you. Uh, Max, if you notice the length size, and I went over videos of this, but if you notice the lengths on these sockets, get the camera straightened out here, right? If you notice the lengths, see how these short, they step down from here? But uh, they kind of are almost like a mid-length right away. Now let me see if I can get the camera to point you down in the right direction. You really got to see the, you really got to see it to believe it. So you see here, these are little deeps. And then you see how deep these are. These are almost like an extra deep too. Um, and they're only, it, you can tell by the numbers right here because they'll say yeah, XDD. They have an extra deep socket. But these guys right here, this is an 8 millimeter intermediate. And that's the cool thing about Mac ones. Let me show you the snap-ons. This is a snap-on 8mm intermediate. You get different sizes. And uh, I've got to be honest with you, I really have liked having some of those intermediate sizes. Now, if you think that's funny, and you're like, well, CP, what's a short look like? <laughs> well, there you go. That's a short. Just a, just a whisker smaller than the old intermediate. So, <clears throat> these are 3H drive ones, obviously. So, makes a big difference. So, that's my... Uh, that's my take on that stuff right there, guys. Why do I love the Mac Impact sockets better? Because, like I said, 
I've had a few Mac inter impact sockets and I like them better. Uh, first of all, I like the I like the fact that they have some knurling, which Snap-on does too. Don't get me wrong. And I know that some guys don't understand this, but actually this line on the Snap-ons means metric and a single line means standard. So that's kind of uh, one thing with Mac. Not so sure that's the case. I don't have any Mac standard sockets, I don't believe. All metric, but uh, nonetheless. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here with that because it's like 15 minutes in. I'm sure you guys are tired of yakking, but that's my top five must-haves, top tens with an honorable mention. And uh, the last one, honorable mention subjective because some of you might like other sockets or have other, and I don't really care what you get. It's just kind of me giving you my perspective. A lot of this is opinionated. Nothing means factual and uh, all that. So anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, get your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.